Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of GGRC. I'm RC and today we're going to be taking a look at the new 2018 Steam Wishlist. Now this is something on scene that I feel like needed to be revamped for quite a while. So uh, I'm pretty excited that they actually came out with an update for it. So let's jump right over to it. So as we all know, you can reach your wishlist by hitting the wishlist button up here in the top corner when you're in the store. And when it loads up, you'll see all of the games that you've ever added to your wishlist. Games that you've wanted, that you've added, that, you know, at some point, maybe when it goes down in price, I'll pick it up, right? Um, I'm actually the worst at keeping my wishlist organized, but as, as far as you can see here, I have an absolute ton of games on it. Just tons and tons and tons. So you can see now that they actually have added a, a more Steam-like approach to the way they display the games here. You see Call of Juarez, the cartel is the top game here. Um, like I said, I've never organized this stuff, I've just added it once I found it. Um, I think at one point a couple years ago I was really anal about keeping it organized, but that has <laughs> fallen by the wayside. But you can see here that it actually keeps track of uh, the reviews, it keeps track of the release date when it came out. Uh, it puts the genres down here, it lets you know what platforms it's for, so these top three are Windows only. It'll do is out for Windows, Mac, and uh, Steam Picture. So. Then uh, you also see that when games are on sale here as well. Now you, you did see that with the original wish list, but now it's a little bit more evident. You can see like big green, you know, percentage tags that are next to the price, which is kind of nice to let you know when things are actually on sale. So they've kind of prettied it up a bit, you know. Um, the other thing that they've changed though is the way the filters and everything work. Now, before the wish list was a little bit old and it needed a revamp, but uh, with this revamp, I, I feel like it's. A little bit more wonky because before I could hit price and I knew in order from least to greatest that's how expensive games were for some reason the filters in this are a little bit more intricate and strange now they've, they've added some very specific things that are really important I think for instance I'm on a Windows machine so I'm like I don't really care if the game is Mac only so or if it's Steam OS links uh, Linux so uh, we only want to show Windows, right? Okay, only Windows games, perfect. Uh, then you can exclude early access games, you can exclude pre-release games, you know, games that haven't come out yet. Uh, and if you don't do the VR thing, you know, you can actually exclude VR only, so we can hit that, you know. Not that I would add VR games in there, because I don't really do it personally. Um, then if you uh, only want to see games that are on sale, they actually have a literal on sale button. So if we hit this, you'll see that it'll do will disappear. Oh, there you go. You're only going to get the ones that are on sale. Uh, and then you can get the deep discount games, too. So if a game is 75% or more on sale... Mmm... Didn't seem to work, did it? There we go. That clicked it. 75. There we go. So that's why I was saying with this is acting a little bit wonky right now. So maybe it's because a lot of people are messing with it. Maybe they need to update the code a little bit. Maybe it's not, you know, final. Um... Maybe it's because both on sale and that were selected. Okay, maybe that's what it is. So it gets confused when you have both of those selected for some reason, even though technically it's on sale and technically it's 75% or more off. But there you have it. Um, then you can even go even further and say less than five. So there you go. So you can find the deepest discount games on your wish list just by doing that. And here we go. Now, the thing that I find even more strange though that, that is a little bit wonky about how this works is that you can see it's sorting by my ranked order, right? Now, if we were to change this to, say, price, you're gonna see that it doesn't exactly do it by price, and I don't know why. So you set it to price, and you'll see Life is Strange, $4.99, right? Right below it, the detail, 51 cents. Isn't the detail cheaper? Shouldn't that be up top? And then right after, you have another one that's 74 cents, so I'm not sure if that filter is actually working at the moment, or maybe it's another one of those things where it's getting confused because of all these other filters that are applied. So you see, yeah, if we have price applied, let's see, we'll, we'll toggle it back to rank order, back to price. You'll see that it still has Life is Strange at the very top for some odd reason. And then we were here and then a bunch of free games. So <laughs> I really don't know why price isn't working quite right. But once they get that working, I'm sure that'll be uh, one of the things uh, that I'll be using most on my wish list because that's what I usually use whenever they had a big sale going on like they do now for the uh, Chinese New Year I would always go on here hit price and see what games were cheapest so I can get the ones that I was looking forward to now of course you can also do something cool which is uh, you can sort it by date added so you can see the most recent game that you added to your wish list which you can see for me is Dragon Ball Fighters 
Fighter Fighter Z Fighters. I don't know if it, there's a consensus on that yet. Uh, but then Tooth and Tail, we were here too. You know, uh, Guardians of the Gal Galaxy Telltale series. These are all newer games that I've added. Even though I have Celeste on uh, Switch, I definitely want to get it on Steam at some point too. So I added it to my list. But yeah, I, I actually really like the way this new wish list works. It needs to work out the few kinks that we were already talking about. Uh, this is cool too. You can even do it by release date. There you go. Everything that's newer is going to be at the top. Now, is there a way to actually switch it back and forth though? Because you'd want release date by oldest or newest. Yeah, I think they need to add those options in. Release date, newest, release date, oldest, that kind of thing. They do also have top selling, though, so if you have other games on your list, shame on me, I still don't have Grand Theft Auto V on PC. But, obviously, top seller, it's gonna go to the top here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I think it's a, a really cool update. I just think that they need to go through, uh, fix a few of the bugs and everything. But as of right now, it's still a little buggy, so if you're looking for it to be the ultimate sorter at the moment, it's not gonna be the thing you're looking for. However, Give it a little bit of time, I'm sure they'll update it, and I'm sure it's going to work great. And uh, I really like the new look of it. But there you go, everybody. That is a little bit of a look at the new Steam wishlist for 2018. I think it's pretty cool. Work out some of the bugs, and, you know, I, I think it's going to be a, a, a nice new revamped version of the wishlist. It's definitely something we've needed for a while. But there you go, everybody. I'll see you all next time.